I'm making this video because I made this video before but one lady left a comment for me it said that uh, I was out of control because I was I don't know I was sweating in the middle of the desert and I wasn't wearing anything I just looked like a naked old hippie sweaty hippie guy out there just kind of rambling among themselves to the in a more refined amount and even though I'm still got a beard and I got clothes on and I'm still as ugly as I was before I want to get this out there in some sort of a different format to be able to maybe open up the eyes society and people to the potentials that does exist with the legalization of uh, hemp and marijuana I may not be in a suit and a tie but I will try to speak in some sort of common sense not like the way that I was before she said I was out of control well well I'm a little bit more in control right now and I'm going to try to explain it a little bit better seven effing things our country needs the most of there is no waste with hemp food fuel pharma funding farms finances and freedom hemp products are available in different forms and can be easily added to everybody's diet there are many forms of hemp foods that can be used alone or in recipes some of the more popular forms of hemp foods include whole hemp seeds hemp protein and hemp milk shelled hemp seeds you know the hemp hearts hemp oil the principal product from hemp seeds today is undoubtedly the oil hemp oil has a high nutritional value because it's three to one ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 essential fatty acids which matches the balance required by the human body hemp fiber natural fiber from the stalks is extremely durable it can be used for all kinds of wonderful things textiles clothing canvas rope cordage for archival grade paper and composite fibers replacing heavier toxic fibers and building materials from recycled plastic and recycled fiber there is no reason to believe that someday you will never see a home that will be totally and completely fabricated with hemp fiber and hemp products whole raw hemp leaves and salad is a wonderful addition hemp is at least four times richer in biomass than its nearest competitor corn stalks sugar cane canaf trees grass which is the main reason why it's a good energy crop hemp converts the sun's energy into biomass faster than any other crop enough energy could be produced on six percent of the land mass in the united states to produce fuel for the entire country that's everything from cars heat homes electricity industry and right now we use 25 percent of the world's energy right now we pay farmers not to grow on six percent we pay subsidies so farmers don't have to grow on certain percent of the land of no leaching of the land meaning it will continually produce and produce and produce and continually enrich the soil with the biomass nearly 500 million acres remains just fallow nothing nothing on it this land could be used to grow hemp as an energy crop hemp actually revitalizes the soil that it grows in both by aerating the soil and by depositing carbon dioxide into the soil this makes hemp ideal for a crop rotation if you need to rotate your crops because we will still need to eat we will still need to have corn and still need to have wheat and barley and all that stuff a good intermediary crop would be to have hemp right in between there to restore and revitalize while still allowing the farmer to make a lot of money hemp can provide two types of fuel hemp biodiesel made from the oil of a pressed hemp seed or hemp ethanol methanol made from fermented stalks hemp produces the most biomass of any plant on earth hemp seed oil has historically been used as a lamp oil it is said to shine the brightest of all the oils hemp seed oil lit the lamps of Abraham Lincoln Abraham the prophet and was used in the legendary lamps of Aladdin anything which can be made from fossil fuels can be made from the organic substance known as hemp 
Toxic petrochemicals can be replaced with hemp oil. Hemp oil can be made into anything with an oil base, including paint, varnish, detergent, solvent, and lubricating oil. The advantage of these products is that they are earth friendly and they are biodegradable and do not destroy ecosystems around them. Petrochemicals do. Until the 1930s, most paint and varnishes made were using hemp oil because of its non-toxicity. Hemp paint provides superior coating because hemp oil soaks into the wood and provides better water resistance. Hemp oil is a good base for non-toxic printing ink. Soy is currently made into inks, but soy ink requires more processing and takes longer to dry than the hemp based inks. Clarify further, ethanol is made from such things as grains, sugars, starches, waste paper, and forest products. And methanol is made from woody pulp matter using processes such as gasification, acid hydrolysis, and enzymes. Hemp can be used to make ethanol and methanol. In this day of oil wars, peak oil, and the accompanying soaring prices, climate change, corporate monopolies, and takeovers, and oil spills such as the one in the Gulf by BP, it's more important than ever to promote substances such as hemp ethanol. Hemp turns out to be the most cost-efficient and valuable of all the fuel crops on a scale that could fuel the world. There is more to hemp as a renewable fuel source than you know. The whole reason for hemp prohibition, alcohol prohibition, may have been the realization that oil production was threatened by any competing fuel source, especially the one that requires no modifications on your car. Just as the timber industry was also competition for business on the paper end. Using hemp as an energy and rotation crop would be a great step in the right direction of making the U.S. self-reliant in energy. We use solar energy during the day, at which time this plant grows. Now while this plant is growing, it is storing energy into its biomass, like a big battery would. We use lead batteries today, why not use the process of growth of hemp and hemp products to be able to store that sun's energy that it produces throughout the entire four to six months of its lifespan to continue to produce us electricity when we are deficient of sunlight. No, instead of seeing this plant as a crisis to humanity and a gateway drug, why not see it as a solution to the current opioid crisis? You know, the, or the opiate crisis, either one. Marijuana has had potential effect on pain relieving qualities and has had effect on how people on how people behave mentally or other diseases how about seeing the possibilities that lie ahead as opposed to the possible potential outcomes of the chance of it being a gateway drug for a certain amount of people you know there's a certain amount of people out there that have access to all kinds of drugs right now cigarettes and alcohol and well it seems that they're free to make the choice on whether they choose to abuse those drugs just like they abuse sugar and they get fat and obese well Lord tells us that we should be able to use all these things on pawn our own free will where is your business sense now mr. Trump President Trump we all know it has medical benefits if the decriminalization of marijuana and hemp were to happen can you imagine the new sources of research and development that would occur. The, the inventions. Do you want an economic boom, Mr. Trump? Do you really want another economic boom like we're having now? Stop the government from being a control freak. Do you want the liberals to be able to think you're an all right kind of guy? Well, you can do that by legalizing hemp and marijuana, decriminalizing it. Legalize it, Mr. Trump. I will bet you a dollar that you will see the biggest, largest economic industrial boom this world has ever seen. And when I win, I want you to sign it for me. New companies will pop up out of nowhere. You see, sir, if we want to promote freedom and the American sense of it, legalize hemp, legalize marijuana. Decriminalization of cannabis will 
not only increase our economy, but it will also increase our need for jobs, jobs, jobs. In all areas of industry, including engineering, sales, mechanics, drivers, construction, medical influences, medical inventions, medical gear, farmers, and unemployed, and the people that will be released from prison because decriminalization of marijuana will release a bunch of prisoners. Now don't you think that having all these people willing to fill in all these low-level jobs will be needed? Research and development for new and unknown possibilities for the crop. Profits will go up. Our national debt will begin to pay off itself in a matter of years, not decades. Years! Because the influx of all the new jobs, people freed from low-level crimes involving marijuana will actually be able to get jobs right out of the gate. New, low-level jobs. It will re reduce the impact on the jail system, on our penal system, on our courts. It will open up all this relief that's been all been penned up into all these things have gotten such a, a drastic penance on life. The cost of the prisoners is on America's back. And we need to get off of being Uncle Sam riding our back because, well, we're paying for Uncle Sam and, well, we get what we pay for. Why aren't we getting what we pay for? Because the government's not able to make enough money to be able to support its citizens. You look at the government, it's just like a big family. It's one big dude up at the top and the rest of us are all down below. We all got to work our way to the top in order to become somebody. Our national debt will begin to pay itself off in a matter of years, not decades. Because the amount of growth, growth that this legalization will promote is going to be unbelievably huge. All these new people that are being released will have all these low-income new jobs. They're going to need housing. There's people out there that don't have any homes that are looking for work who can be employed by this new industry that will be opening our eyes to the insane amount of work that's going to be involved in starting a new industry. Imagine the Texas oil boom being the new this. All those jobs are going to be a new source of tax revenue. And at some point when we're able to totally pay off the financial debt that we have, we will be able to install a new tax system, a flat tax, a fair tax, a fair flat tax system. This may even start a whole new housing boom. Because the people being released from prison, they're going to need new homes. And because of their newfound freedom, their new life that you're going to give them because they were imprisoned because of a plant. And now they have a chance, the chance for their record to be expunged and for you to have made a difference in their life, Mr. Trump. You're the one who released them from prison and gave them a new breath on life. Imagine that, you being the man who released these people from prison because they were falsely imprisoned and kept under government control for free slave labor. And these homes will support businesses that will support the tax revenue the states will get. Even big corporations as well will need to hire as much as the little guy just starting out. The opening of the commodity of the imagination of the entire population of this great and mighty United States. Biodiesel is the only alternative fuel that runs in any conventional unmodified diesel engine. It can be stored anywhere that petroleum diesel fuel is stored. Biodiesel is safe to handle and, can, and transport because it is as biodegradable as sugar. That's right, 10 times less toxic than table salt and has a high flash point of about 300 degrees compared to petroleum diesel fuel which has a flash point of 125. Biodiesel can be made from domestically produced renewable oilseed crops such as hemp. Biodiesel is a proven fuel with over 30 million successful road miles, over 20 years of use in Europe. 
When burned in a diesel engine, biodiesel replaces the exhaust odor of petroleum diesel with the pleasant smell of hemp, popcorn, or french fries. Biodiesel is the only alternative fuel in the United States to complete EPA Tier 1 health FX testing under Section 211B of the Clean Air Act, which provide the most thorough inventory of environmental and human health effects, attributes that current technology will allow. Biodiesel is 11% oxygen by weight and contains absolutely no sulfur. The use of biodiesel can extend the life of diesel engines because it is more lubricating than petroleum diesel fuel while fuel consumption, auto ignition, power output, and engine torque are relatively unaffected by biodiesel. The Congressional Budget Office, Department of Defense, U.S. Department of Agriculture and others have determined that biodiesel is a low-cost alternative fuel option for fleets to meet requirements of the Energy Policy Act. All people feel differently about hemp, just as they felt about alcohol. Keeping hemp illegal stalls our economy and industrial growth as a powerhouse nation. Restoring our ability to process ingenuity will gear our society towards achieving energy independence and most importantly financial independence by taxation and I mean fair and appropriate taxation in the correct categories via permits or purchases of the degree of the market medical industrial chemical pharmaceutical you get the idea did I mention the farms imagine every farmer, every farmeress, being able to support their self and their family by growing this self-sustainable crop. Imagine the new tractors and processing equipment that will be needed in order to process all this new biomass or processing, whatever form it may be needed in, whether it's medical or petrochemicals or plastics or cloth or whatever imagine the new tractors and processing equipment that will be that will need to be used and or invented by people to remove the husk the husk of the plant to centralize those processings to mill down the husk to a component to be ready for processing in whatever form is most beneficial at the time according to the needs of the market and get this every thing that the farm produces in some respect that will also use whether it is food or fuel or funding or pharma, all those things the farm produces, it will also consume. And all those things are taxed. Does it begin to add up there, Mr. Trump? Does it begin to add up, Mr. Trump? Or shall I go on? All the new business loans that people will have to take out for new farm machinery or properties for farm workers building their homes from economical hempcrete processed by a factory that needs jobs and chemicals and stuff from other avenues of manufacturing. Consumer usage. How about the biodegradable plastics that could be made? Not to mention the unknown things that we do not know because of the uh, laws of the land. All these tax collections can go towards building of schools, building of roads, bridges, waste, water, building, government buildings, you name it. Put the money where it needs to be fed in the heart of our nation, dwell deep in our foundation. This can start a new creation in a world of rejuvenation in the spirit of freedom. Testify! The time has come for a change. Let us rearrange the way we speak about this. There is no doubt that our country is strong and will be getting stronger. And right now our momentum is great. It can't fail. It won't fail. I'll bet you a dollar. Not to mention that it makes great paper. Cannabis is not a gateway drug. Ignorance is a gateway drug. I want to thank you guys for hearing me out. Maybe with your help in sharing this video, we can put an end to this prohibition on the cannabis plant to marijuana and we can make it fully functional, taxable, and used in our society. Maybe you can help me become part of the change. This is the Desert Artist, I'm out of here.